When I was younger, uh, a guy in our friend group was in a motorcycle accident and he was really pretty badly hurt. And a physio taught him how to walk again. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> That's how I found what I wanted to do. Going to Mohawk was such a chance because I hadn't been a great student. I didn't love school. I was kind of apathetic. And then um, to have gotten in was my chance and to find a, a profession that was such a great fit for me and that um, and it taught me so much and it gave the foundation to learn more afterwards. I have so man many memories from Mohawk, so many times, a, a lot of fun, like I'd, with classmates and I, I worked at the Arnie and we ran pubs and we had so much fun. But it was balanced off because you couldn't just have fun. There was a lot of challenges and um, it was the first time I'd faced the potential of failing in an academic setting. And, uh, you know, other ones, okay, but not in academic setting. And so it was sobering and you had to dig deep and you had to figure out how to show up. And so I grew up an awful lot during that. So there was a lot of memories associated with, with that as well. I think the biggest um, skill or, or uh, life enhancement that I got at, at Mohawk was them teaching me how to think. And uh, which was, I use every day because you, you, it was never expected that you would know the answer. So it doesn't freak me out if I don't know the answer to something, because uh, they taught me in how to, how to think around it, how to think through it, how to try some ideas on for size, and then come up with the best idea and go forward. And I, I use that to this day. Education is important, but it's, it, I think one of the key things is it doesn't end when you get your diploma. It's the beginning of it. That gives you your foundation that you launch from, and education needs to be an ongoing thing that you do the rest of your life.